I started off working in a little flower shop out in Essex and uh, those were the days actually when flowers were not um, fashionable at all because it was so old-fashioned um, but now in fact obviously everybody it seems wants to be a gardener or a florist or something along that line that's you know how it all started for me when we meet the, the bride-to-be, um, obviously we talk to her, try to gain from her exactly you know, what her dream is. And that doesn't mean to say it has to be a lot of money that she's spending. You can have a student bride that comes in and has, you know, is begging, you know, I've got hardly any money to spend, can you do something for me? And of course we can, in fact they're fun to do those kind of things. Um, or you have, you can have an extravagant bride or anything in between. And we sit down with them, we talk with them what their dream is and we just try to recreate it. So, you know, somebody might want to look like a vampish bride, um, others want to look angelic and virginal. This one here, the green one, um, has got the most wonderful selection and you know I love greens it's not everybody's choice but you know this is it contains orchids it contains a green rose um, there are so many different ingredients in there um, which again as I said you know ten years ago even we didn't have that variety of color the next one's more of a traditional um, gathering here um, although we have got things like the Bouvardia, whereas at one time you wouldn't have touched Bouvardia because it would have gone over in a second. It's so much stronger now. And that's the thing always that you've got to speak to your florist about, the flowers that you choose, that they're not going to wilt in 30 seconds. Now this is what we refer to as a Carmen Rose. It's just a mass of petals that have been wired and then we've surrounded it with these black um, skeleton leaves. You know, I just think that it's nice and light for the bride to carry, very thin handle. It's just gorgeous. So this purple one um, has, I suppose, the newest of ingredients in it, the more tropical ingredients. Um, we've got these wonderful orchids here. This blue rose or purple rose is um, you know, it's something that people were after for years and years and years, and now we have it. And there's also some um, lilies here as well, Arum lilies, in this fantastic purple shade. I mean, that's almost breathtaking, I think, because um, you know, it's so unusual to get a flower like that. I'd like to think we pay a lot of attention to the bride and to what she requests, what it is that she wants to achieve. I mean, I really do believe, you know, she's got a dream and we want to kind of create that for her. I think the choice of flowers, I mean, I'd like to think that about every bouquet, whether it's a bridal bouquet or a gift bouquet that leaves this store, it's somebody has thought about it and uh, we've given it a lot of thought. You know, it's not just something that's thrown together with the scrapings off of the floor. It's, um, you know, we really have considered it. We uh, show our flowers in the store, grouped together by color, and that's how we work. We tend to work tonally rather than um, a mass of different colors. I think no matter what the budget is, there's always a way that you can create a bouquet for somebody. We are able to do that. Um, if your wedding is outside of London, very often there's a friend or somebody like that that will be driving to the wedding that's more than happy to be involved in transporting the bouquet to you, which that seems to work very well. And um, yeah, if not, of course, you know, you can come here and we can deliver as far as we can.